We're gonna go back up to our mask. We're gonna go ahead and click it. We're gonna hit the subtract button and now we're gonna be choosing. Our Blurring the background of your photos does not have to be complicated whatsoever. Now typically you would do this by using an expensive lens with a low aperture like f1.8 or f2.8. However, lenses can get expensive really fast and we always don't have the funds available to buy them right away. So let me show you how to blur the background of your images in Adobe Lightroom. Let's go ahead and get started. So in order to get that blurry background, the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a mask. So we do that by coming up here to the top right and clicking this circle icon. Now, once you click the circle icon, you're presented with a few different options. What we're gonna do though, is we're gonna go ahead and select the background. Now, let's go ahead and let Lightroom do its thing. It's gonna use artificial intelligence to go ahead and select this background for us, which makes it super easy for us photographers. So as you can see, Lightroom has done a really good job at selecting the background for us. There's a few spots here and there where it may have not made the selection, but we can fix that here in a little bit. So now that we have that selection made, we want to go over to the effects section and we want to go ahead and adjust the clarity so we're going to slide this over to the left and you're going to notice how the background starts to get blurry kind of got a fuzzy glowy look to it not even sure if glowy is a word probably not <laughs> So in order to make it look better, we're gonna come down here to the detail section and we're actually gonna be adjusting the sharpness. And just like clarity, we're gonna move it over to the left-hand side and notice what happens to the background. Now it looks pretty good, right? However, there is one little mistake that's happening in this image. And I don't want you to make this mistake because it's a clear giveaway that you've manipulated your photo and manipulated the blur. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom in to the foreground. Notice how it's blurry. It's only blurry because of the mask we made. So if I were to actually go ahead and remove this mask, notice how the foreground is actually supposed to be sharp. So if we leave it like this, it's a clear giveaway that we have added this blur to the image. So we don't want that. So let me show you how to fix it. We're gonna go back up to our mask. We're gonna go ahead and click it. We're gonna hit the subtract button and now we're gonna be choosing our linear gradient. We're just gonna go ahead and click and drag all the way up here in anything in this red section is now going to be removed from our mask. So essentially our foreground will be sharp again. Let's zoom in and there we go. Our foreground is sharp again, but we're not done yet because remember our selection wasn't perfect and there is a chance that your selection may not be perfect either. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that too. We're gonna zoom in here to this part of the dress and on the ground and we're gonna come back up to our mask. Again, we're gonna click our mask that we've created and this time we're gonna go ahead and add to the mask and we're gonna be using the brush tool. So now that I've got this brush tool selected, I'm basically just gonna go ahead and paint over this area and notice how it's starting to go ahead and blur that part of the background, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so this is what we had before and this is the final result. Well, if you did learn something today, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe for more content, and as always, my friend, stay creative and I will be seeing you in the next video.